and about a six hour drive away from Gabe, there's a wild weather contrast. It's 60 degrees colder with blizzard conditions in Amarillo, Texas. And that's where we find Weather Channel's Mike Seidel. It's a treacherous and rare combination for the Southwest. Snow coupled with hurricane force wind gusts. New Mexico's governor has declared a state of emergency because of a massive storm, which has already dumped two feet of snow in parts of the state. That, combined with wind gusts up to 82 miles an hour, has led to drifts as high as eight feet. Heavy snow has caused trucks to topple over and forced drivers, unaccustomed to this type of weather, to stop on the sides of the highway. I was just driving on a big old dust of, of snow came crying out. I couldn't see where I was going, and I ended up right here. It's a little slick. I stopped to put it in four-wheel drive. As long as everybody slows down, everybody be all right. Officials are encouraging people to stay off the roads after more than 200 car accidents in central New Mexico injured nearly 60 people. We're heading to New Mexico and we can't make it. So. In the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, slick, icy conditions have left many drivers stuck. I hit a black piece of ice and slid from the far lane on the, on the left side of the highway all the way over and gently coasted down. The crippling weather will continue into the night. It's a little bit cold. <laughs> As howling winds, combined with temperatures dropping to the teens, will push the wind chill as low as 10 below zero. These icy winds have gusted up at over 40 miles an hour now for 30 straight hours here in Amarillo. That's causing ground blizzards and drifting. That has shut down many roads here in West Texas and eastern New Mexico, including this stretch of Interstate 40 westbound. And that has stranded travelers here, holiday travelers here, Kate, for a second straight night. Kate. Mike Seidel out in it. Thanks, Mike. Let's